Hi friends, now we are going to see about the important national parks and sanctuaries which have came in the previous year question papers of UPSC plans. Okay, now first question with reference to India Desert National Park, which of the following statements are correct? It is overspread to two districts. There is no human settlement inside the park. It has the one of the natural habitats of great Indian bustards. Okay, now we will go into the answer. Uh, with respect to Indian uh, India Desert National Park, it is spread over two districts. Yes, it is correct. It spreads over two districts. Two, this is not the correct two. It spreads over two districts. Okay, which are the following districts are Jai Salmar, Jai Salmar <coughs> and Barmer districts of Rajasthan. Okay, the desert national park of Rajasthan spreads over two districts. Okay, and there is no human settlement. It has been given there is no human settlement. This is also wrong because there are settlements. Okay, in fact, the settlements are also called as Dahins. D H A N I S. Okay, Dahins. And then it has been one of the natural habitat for great Indian bustard. It is correct. Okay, so statement 1 and 3 is correct. Okay, now we can see some of the important points relating to the Indian Desert National Park, which is in Rajasthan. Other important points. The Great Indian National Park is present here. This is old map of Rajasthan. This national park is present here and this bird is called as Great Indian Bustard. Okay. Its IUCN status. IUCN status is critically endangered. Okay. And it is one of the largest flight bird, flying bird. Okay. One of the largest flying bird. Largest flying bird. Okay, and uh, it also its habitat is spread in Pakistan and India, both Pakistan and in India. In India also, it has spread over the following states, which are their main presence it at in Gujarat and Rajasthan. Okay, and there are some pockets, they are present in some of the states like Karnataka, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra, okay. And uh, regarding the Desert National Park, Desert National Park, we have already told that it has been spread over two districts, okay. And uh, it's, it has its presence in Great Thar Desert. Thar Desert. And uh, Thar Desert is the 17th largest desert in the world. 17th largest desert, Thar Desert. And uh, it has one of the, it has one of the largest population density among desert okay its population density is 83 person per square kilometer per square kilometer when compared to 7 person per square kilometer in other desert and average Okay, next, due to the spread of desertification, desertification, there is a problem of spreading of sandstorms till national capital area, till national capital area, due to the erosion of Aravallis, 
which is a natural green barrier okay these are all some of the important points regarding desert national parks now we will move on to the next among the following tiger reserves which one has the largest area under critical tiger habitat and uh, this is based on a fact okay so largest tiger critical tiger habitat is in nagarjuna sagar sirs island okay and uh, critical tiger habitat it is been declared under the act called wildlife protection act wildlife protection act 1972 okay there is a latest amendment bill which is pending in parliament you have to note it okay you have to see it wildlife protection act amendment 2021 okay they are proposed to uh, reduce the schedules six schedules to four schedules okay and uh, its main aim is to meet the compliance of sites okay and then critical tiger habitat is defined as the core tiger habitat core tiger tiger area it is a core tiger area where the human interference should not be there if if there is a threat threat to the habitat if there is a threat okay now we will see about the jim corbett national park okay jim corbett national park which is in which is situated in uttarakhand okay which is situated in uttarakhand and it is also called as ram ganga national park they have proposed to change the national park into ram ganga okay and uh, the river ram ganga is flows this is the river ram ganga okay it flows inside the national park and uh, the national park the jim corbett national park has the density as the highest tiger density tiger density in india and it also host several species like indian elephant which is also a flagship species and then the most dominant species plant species tree species in this jim corbett national park is sal and particularly sal robusta okay over 75% of the national park is dominated by this sal species okay next next ranthampur ranthampur national park ranthampur national park is is situated in rajasthan ranthampur national park is situated in rajasthan and savai savai mansing savai mansing national park plus kelavadi national park has been merged within this ranthampur tiger reserve okay has been merged in ranthampur tiger reserve in 1992 okay this ranthampur tiger reserve is on the juncture of is at the foothills of two important hills they are aravalli and vindhya vindhya mountains ranthampur is in the foothills of aravalli and vidya mountains and then there is an important species which is present in this ranthampur 
tiger reserve which is called as dak dak it is famous for its drought resistance drought resistance okay next we will come to your answer nagarjuna sagar sirisailam tiger reserve okay it is present in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh and uh, here important tribe called senchus yes c senchus c h e n c h u s senchus tribes present in this uh, tiger reserve they are nomadic nomadic and food gatherers food gatherers okay and they live in a specific group called as kudums g u d e m s kudums okay and within this river krishna is flowing inside this reserve tiger reserve krishna river is flowing okay next is sundarbans you all know that sundarbans is very important site okay and it spreads between bangladesh and india okay in indian part it is situated in west bengal and it is created by the delta with the effects of rivers like ganga brahmaputra and meghna okay and it is an important important bird area which is recognized by bird life international bird life international and it is recently it is recently affected by cyclone ampan cyclone ampan okay it is recently affected by cyclone ampan and it is it is the only mangroves in the world it is the only mangroves in the world which host tigers okay which host tiger population okay it is a speciality about sundarbans and uh, as you all know sundarbans are the sundarban is is a national park unesco world heritage site world heritage site unesco is a uh, unesco world heritage site biosphere reserve biosphere reserve tiger tiger reserve and is also a ramsar site okay so it has more important okay one of the most most important important diverse ecosystem in india okay which of the following protected areas are located in the kaveri basin okay only one thing you have to eliminate here which is papikonda national park which is the hard man out here because it is situated in andhra pradesh okay maximum the word konda okay which is <coughs> which will be belongs to andhra pradesh region okay nagarjuna nagarjuna konda papi konda like the, that only in andhra pradesh it will end okay other than this nagarhol satyamangalam wayanad wildlife sanctuary are all based on the biosphere reserves 
in nilgiri okay it is within the nilgiri biosphere reserve which is the first biosphere reserve uh, which is declared uh, in the uh, by the unesco okay what are all the unesco biosphere reserve in nilgiri nagar naharol okay naharol national park which will be connected with bandipur bandipur national park and then it will be connected with mudumalai mudumalai national park and then it will be connected with satyamangalam and then there will be silent national park silent valley silent valley here and then mukurti mukurti national park mukurti national park and here wayanad national park this whole area is nilgiri biosphere reserve and it all comes in kaveri basin okay now we will see some of the important information regarding naharol national park okay naharol Naharol National Park This national park is called National uh, Naharol which is also renamed as Rajiv Gandhi National Park Rajiv Gandhi National Park situated at Kodagu district in Karnataka Kodagu district at Karnataka it is famous for tiger reserve tiger plus project elephant naharol national park okay it is famous for its project elephant okay and then there is two important rivers important rivers tributaries which is formed here they are lakshmana tirthas lakshman tirtha tributary and kabini tributary not the kabini river or lakshmana tirtha river but its tributary is formed here in naharol national park okay and then next optional is satyamangalam satyamangalam tiger reserve is situated here adjacent to mudumalai tiger reserve satyamangalam tiger reserve is situated here which is adjacent to the mudumalai and bandipur tiger reserve satyamangalam tiger reserve is present in tamil nadu okay tamil nadu and uh, the satyamangalam tiger reserve has been recently in news because of uh, t into 2 award t into 2 award which is given for the doubling of tigers doubling of tigers tiger population okay by world wildlife fund okay and uh, this award has been first given to pilibith pilibith national park or tiger reserve pilibith national park or tiger reserve which is situated in uttar pradesh okay in 2020 the doubling 
t into 2 gold is aims to it aims to doubling the tiger tiger population doubling the tiger population within 2022 in old world not only with respect to india okay to encourage that goal t into 2 award is given latest recipient is this satyamangalam tiger reserve okay next uh, Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. Wayanad. Wayanad. This area is Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. This two area is Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary, which is situated in Kerala. Okay. It is also famous for its tiger reserve plus elephant project elephant project elephant okay and uh, Kabini river Kabini river flows inside this national park why not national park okay kabini river inside this protected area there are many tribals scheduled tribes some of the important tribes are kurubas panias kurubas panias and then kartanayakas etc Okay, or some of the tribals who is present inside this Wayanad Tiger Reserve. Okay, next Papikonda. Papikonda National Park is situated in Andhra Pradesh, as I told, and River Godavari. River Godavari flows inside this Papikonda National Park. River Godavari flows inside this. Okay. And uh, this national park is also famous for a dwarf 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 goat. Dwarf goat breed which is Kanchu Mega. Kanchu Mega. K A N C H U M E G H A Mega. Okay. Kanchu Mega. This is Papikonda National Park, which is in East Godavari district, East and West Godavari district. Okay, Papikonda National Park. Next, which one of the following protected areas is well known for the conservation of subspecies of the Indian swamp deer, Barasinga, that thrives well on odd ground and exclusively germivorous? What is germivorous? Germivorous is nothing but seed, seed eating, seed eating animals. Okay, so they only eat seeds, and uh, this is also another important fact about Barasinga, which is they are exclusively germivorous. Okay, and uh, this Barasinga is IUCN status is vulnerable. IUCN status is vulnerable and uh, it is also schedule one animal of wildlife protection act okay and uh, this barasinga is the state animal of uttar pradesh it is the state animal of uttar pradesh and then this name bara is derived from its antler antler which has 12 points Bara means 12 in Hindi. That's why it is called as Bara Singha. Okay. This is the picture of this antler, Bara Singha. Okay. And whom, which conservation area is well known for this 
Barasinga is none other than Khanna National Park. Khanna. Khanna National Park, which is situated in Madhya Pradesh. Khanna National Park, which is situated in Madhya Pradesh, and this is situated in Maikal Ranges. Maikal Ranges of Satpura Hills. Maikal Ranges of Satpura Hills, Kanna National Park, and Rudyard Kipling's Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book story has been said and inspired from this area, which is Kanna National Park. Okay, and there is a famous tourist spot called Bami Dadar. Bami Dadar in this. Kanna National Park. Okay. And there are well known tribal groups. Gond reside over this Kanna National Park. Gond. Gond tribes are reside within this Kanna National Park only. Okay. And they are also famous for salt trees. This national park hosts most number of salt trees. Okay. Skanna National Park is situated here. Skanna Tiger Reserve. Okay. Next is Manas National Park. I think Manas. Yes. Manas National Park. Manas National Park is here. Okay. So, we can see that it is contiguous, contiguous with Bhutan, okay, and in Bhutan it is called as Royal Manas, Royal Manas National Park, okay, and this Manas name is derived from Manas River, Manas River. This name is derived from the Manas River, and it is also believed that it is it is derived from the Indian god, Indian goddess, snake goddess, to be precise, Indian snake goddess, Manasa. Okay, and this Manas is also UNESCO World Heritage Site. UNESCO World Heritage Site, okay, and uh, this Manas also hosts. Okay, Manas River is a tributary of Brahmaputra, and there is an elephant river reserve in it, which is Sirang Ripu Elephant Reserve. Sirang C H I R A N G Sirang. Ripu R I P U Ripu Sirang Ripu Elephant Reserve. Okay. Next is Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary. Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary. Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary is also present in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary is present in Tamil Nadu, and they are also known for its Project Tiger site. They are also known for its elephant population, and it is also a project elephant site. Okay, Mudumalai, and they are one of the ninety-four sites in India. Ninety-four sites in India, which has cats aggregated, cats aggregated, cats, C A T S. Accredited site. All over world, 125 sites are there. Okay. Cats abbreviation stands for conservation. Conservation assured. Conservation assured tiger standards. Global standards to protect 
the tiger reserves okay and mudumala is one of the cats assured tiger reserve okay and then tal chapar tal chapar is in rajasthan tal chapar is in rajasthan tal means plain land okay tal means plain land okay and uh, this tal chapar host invasive species like plant species like acacia and proposis julifera okay and uh, this these species gave savanna like savanna like ecosystem in this tal chapar wildlife sanctuary okay and there is a special type of grass motia in this tal chapar wildlife sanctuary and they are also a, they are also sanctuary for antlers like black buck black buck and chinkara chinkara okay and they are also famous for desert desert cat which is also in news this year okay its iucn status is least concern and they are nocturnal its iucn status is least concern okay tal chapar is situated here okay in bikaner district next question which of the following are the most likely places to find the musk deer in its natural habitat okay musk deer first we will see about the musk deer then we will guess about the their natural habitat musk deer is a small okay small deer and uh, they are shy okay and they only reside <coughs> they reside in the ranges above 2500 meters okay so they mostly reside in temperate areas so they reside in the himalayan states in india himalayan states in world they are spread over from siberia to himalayas siberia to himalayas okay and uh, these two wildlife sanctuary and uh, national park ascot and gangotri belongs to uttarakhand and uh, Kishanpur wildlife sanctuary is in Uttar Pradesh and Manas all you know it is in Assam okay and uh, as you know it resides in temperate area Uttarakhand is also a temperate area where this musk deer resides Ascot wildlife sanctuary and Gangotri national park so the answer is A now we will see about this four wildlife sanctuaries three to be precise because we have already discussed about the manas national park okay this is musk deer okay dragula type deer so here ascot wildlife sanctuary is situated here which is in uttarakhand pitorgarh district of uttarakhand okay this ascot wildlife sanctuary also host other wildlife like snow cock blue sheep himalayan tar etc okay this ascot wildlife sanctuary is also called as musk deer wildlife sanctuary okay and it is also called green paradise 
of earth green paradise of earth and uh, here is the gangotri national park this area is the gangotri national park within which the gangotri glacier is residing present okay from this only river bahiradi emerges okay and river bahiradi and alkananda converges in devprayag which gives rise to ganga within this gangotri national park there is govind national park and kedarnath wildlife sanctuary and this is kishanpur wildlife sanctuary kishanpur wildlife sanctuary which is present in the whole area of dudwa national park but as you see it is not contiguous okay but this kishanpur wildlife sanctuary is within the complex of dudwa national park okay that you have to note it and uh, this is present in uttar pradesh as you all know okay and uh, this kishanpur wildlife sanctuary is famous for moist deciduous forest moist deciduous forest okay saltic species present in it next question which of the following are in agastya malai biosphere reserve agastya malai biosphere reserve okay so now we have to see about this agastya malai Agastya Malai is the it pre, is present in the southernmost southernmost end of western ghats southernmost end of western ghats okay and they are regarded as genetic pool of cultivated plants like cardamom pepper nutmeg okay and uh, its answer is a near pepra shendunai wildlife sanctuaries and kalakkad undandurai tiger reserve is present in this agastya malai biosphere reserve okay and uh, mudumalai you already know okay mudumalai satyamangalam wayanad wildlife sanctuaries silent valley national park all are present in nilgiri biosphere reserve okay and uh, kaundiya kundala brahmeshwaram papikonda okay how it is helping us by seeing the previous year question is like this only okay they will repeat their options and if you know their location you can easily eliminate them okay agastya malai you know it is in western ghats papikonda is in eastern ghats in andhra pradesh so you could have easily eliminate this this option okay papikonda mukurthi national park okay these three are situated in andhra pradesh mukurthi in tamil nadu okay kaval kaval is situated in kaval wildlife sanctuary is situated in telangana telangana sri venkateshwara wildlife sanctuary is situated in andhra pradesh nagarjuna sirisailam is also situated in andhra pradesh okay now we will see about this agastya malai agastya malai already we have seen but one or two information important information we can say is pepra wildlife sanctuary in pepra wildlife sanctuary the agastya peak is located which is the highest peak in agastya malai okay this is agastya malai biosphere reserve where tamarabarani river is also originated in its eastern side tamarabarani which is runs to the tirunelveli district of tamil nadu 
ஓகே தாமிரபரணி இருவர் அண்ட் தென் கனி ட்ரைப்ஸ் கனி ட்ரைப்ஸ் ஆர் லொக்கேட்டட் இன்சைட் த அகஸ்திய மலை பயோஸ்பியர் தே ஆர் சுச்சுவேட்டட் இன் போத் கேரளா அண்ட் இன் தமிழ்நாடு தே ஆர் பர்டிகுலர்லி வல்னரபிள் ட்ரைப் இன் கேரளா ஓகே ட்ரைபல் குரூப்ஸ் பிவிடிஜி இன் கேரளா அண்ட் நாட் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ஓகே அண்ட் தென் கலக்காடு முண்டந்துரை டைகர் ரிசர்வ் விச் இஸ் இன் சுச்சுவேட்டட் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ஓகே அண்ட் இட் இஸ் திஸ் திஸ் ஏரியா இஸ் சைலண்ட் வேலி திஸ் ஏரியா இஸ் சைலண்ட் வேலி ஓகே இட் இஸ் நேம்டு பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த ஆப்சன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சிக்கார்ட்ஸ் சிஐ சிஏ டிஏஎஸ் சிக்கார்ட்ஸ் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன்செக்ஸ் ஓகே சிக்கார்ட்ஸ் இன்செக்ஸ் ஆப்சன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சிக்கார்ட்ஸ் இன்செக்ஸ் by british okay and it is also famous for silent valley movement silent valley movement in 1973 against the chlorophyll hydroelectric projects in this valley okay silent valley movement in this silent valley only kundipura kundipura river flows which is ultimately joins with bharatapura river okay kundipura river flows within this national park okay and they are also the last resort for dragon flies dragon flies dam selfies insects and also amphibetic amphibetic insects like odontos o d o n a t e s odonates sorry odonates okay amphibiotic insects like odonates okay and then there is another national park which is in this option it is mukurthi national park mukurthi national park is in tamil nadu it is famous for its flagship species neel neelgiri tar neelgiri tar which is the state animal of tamil nadu neelgiri tar okay and it is also the mukurthi national park is also unesco world heritage site and the pastoral tribes todas lives in this national park pastoral tribes todas lives in this national park okay and uh, here kaundya national park is there in tamil nadu chittur district kaundya national park is there stri lanka malleshwara wildlife sanctuary is situated in kadappa district okay stri lanka malleshwara and in karnool gundala brahmeshwaram wildlife sanctuary is located papikonda is located you already know in eastern and western godavari district okay see the names kambalakonda okay maximum not all names okay maximum if it is ending in konda then maximum you can guess calculatively which will be belonging to andhra pradesh only okay next which one of the following national park lies completely in the temperate alpine zone lies completely okay not uh, off of temperate off tropical not like that completely it should be then it should be in himalayan state okay manas is assam see how many manas national park is coming how many times okay assam which is a situated in alluvial plain alluvial plain okay namadappa namadappa is in arunachal pradesh 
a potential potential candidate okay nerora valley is in west bengal okay valley of flowers is in uttarakhand so among this himalayan state uttarakhand has more potential to be a complete temperate national park so national valley valley of flowers okay valley of flowers is the answer okay manas we have already dealt first we will see about valley of flowers in valley of flowers only alknanda river flows alknanda okay and nanda devi valley of flowers forms the nanda devi biosphere reserve nanda devi biosphere reserve okay and then valley of flower is also borders china valley of flowers also borders china okay valley of flowers is also unesco world heritage site unesco world heritage site okay and this topography is gentle when compared to nanda devi which is rugged rugged topography okay now we will see about namadappa namadappa tiger uh, national park namadappa national park is situated in arunachal pradesh and it is also situated in the tri junction tri junction of india china and myanmar okay and it also situated in the mishmi hills mishmi hills mishmi hills where the highest peak is dampa bum d a m p a dampa b u m bum okay highest peak is in dampa bum okay namadappa shows different type of forest five type of forest okay evergreen evergreen moist deciduous temperate subtropical and mountain due to its varying ranges okay varying altitudinal ranges okay and the important endangered species endangered species blue vanda plant species which is also present in the schedule 6 of wildlife protection act is present in this namadappa wildlife sanctuary okay national park namadappa national park and then niora valley niora valley national park niora valley is in west bengal okay but it is in contiguous with sikkim and bhutan okay niora valley okay it connects the biodiversity within the sikkim and bhutan niora valley and uh, it established two types of biodiversity okay both tropical and temperate both tropical and temperate okay and the important flagship species which is present in this niora valley is red banda red banda okay in which one of the following state is paukai wildlife sanctuary is located okay paukai wildlife sanctuary it is located in arunachal pradesh okay here this is namadappa here paukai paukai wildlife sanctuary okay and this namadappa there is a river called nova diang nova diang river which is the tributary of brahmaputra flows inside this namadappa national park okay and pauka is situated in arunachal pradesh and they are these both are famous for orchards okay 
அருணாச்சல பிரதேஷ் ஹெட் குவார்டர்ஸ் இஸ் இட்டானகர் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ